Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is get data table column as string. So this is the node we're going to look at. If I run my example, we're going to get back three results here, three names. So let's look at the node and see how we actually use it. Let me just increase the timer here. So it takes in a data table and it takes in a property name. If you don't have any valid data in here, for example, if you want none and we hit play, we're not going to see anything here because our result is going to be an empty string array. So in this case, I want my data table full of weapons. And if we look at it, we can see it's got a couple items in here with some stats. Now we're looking at properties. Properties are going to be the individual values. So it's going to be our item ID or the name, the damage, the durability, the rarity. These are our property names and then we have our property values. So the name property gives us all of these. The damage property would give us all of these, etc. And remember it's going to return them out as strings inside that column. So in this case I'm asking for all the names. Then I'm looping through those names and then simply printing them out. If I wanted something different, for example, maybe I wanted the durability. Oh, let's go with the item ID, for example. I could do the item ID. I would type in item ID. I'm doing all lowercase in this example and hitting play. And you can see it returns back my item IDs. Because this is a name, it is not case sensitive. So it could be lowercase, uppercase, multi-case, whatever you feel like, as long as it matches properly. It has to match. Item ID is one word here. But if I was to do item space ID in Ranmar example, well, we're going to get back nothing. This property does not exist. If you need to know the actual property name, if that ever matters, you can look at it at the top. You can see the different types, and you can see your property names inside of the columns names right there. You can also see them if we were to, let's say we pulled up dagger, you can see your property names here. And that's it. It's a simple node. It's useful if you have some data you want to pull out. Maybe it's a pay table for a slot machine. Maybe it's a list of experience required for each level in an RPG. And you want to present it to the player and get it in a nice, easy fashion.